Good afternoon everyone, my name is Peter Dove, author of Master Dressage. Uh, we're going to be doing 10 lessons. Uh, this is the very first lesson. Uh, it's a very basic lesson on alignment and posture. We're going to be using Millie as an example. A lot of what we're going to talk about is based in physics. Uh, it will all have very clear explanations. There's no wishy-washiness. Uh, and we're going to make sure that you have some exercises that you can go away with at the end of the session and uh, practice. So we will call that homework. Uh, thanks everybody for signing up. The response has been incredible. I, I mean, really incredible. Uh, and what that means to me is that uh, I get to continue doing uh, master dressage full time, teaching, writing, doing these videos for you. And I can promise you that this 10 week course, this 10 module course, is going to be amazing. Uh, I'm going to be able to provide you with extra video clips, uh, homework, I'm going to be able to answer your questions on Facebook, uh, through email, um, and you know now I've nearly kind of caught up with getting all of the books out as well, I, I do have a little bit more time. So the very first thing I do when I look at a rider is to sort out their stirrup length before we do any other adjustments. You know we want to get the stirrup length uh, as close as possible. So this is Millie's normal length uh, and, and basically what you're looking for is that the thigh is at about a 45 degree angle. And you know this is, this is okay for, for Millie, I wouldn't want to see her uh, a whole longer, uh, but, but this is fine for her. What I'm going to do now is just kind of show you uh, some other issues that riders have with stirrup length. So, uh, I think first we'll go too short. So with the stirrup length too short, you can see that the thigh has a, a much more acute angle than the 45 degrees. Um, I think when I measured this using the computer, this was 50 degrees. Um, and you can imagine if it went up any higher than that, you know, it'd be sort of 55 degrees or so. Uh, the issue with having the thigh at a more sort of uh, horizontal angle than 45 degrees is actually you end up a little bit too far at the back of the saddle. Your thigh doesn't work very well as a lever which means that if the horse hollers its back it's very easy for your whole weight to land in the uh, hollow of the horse and you know you can end up landing too far back in the saddle as well. Uh, the problems with stirrups being this long is the rider simply starts trying to reach into the leg, they don't have any stability in the leg, they can't control the leg enough, uh, and other things start to happen as well as you reach into the stirrup, the rider starts hollowing in the back like this as they stretch their leg down, and often actually uh, long leg tends to go with that idea of grow tall, and you end up with a rider with a straight leg and a hollow in their back. And you know, if you think about it, uh, if your leg is that long, how much of a rise in your rising or, or in the US posting trot are you going to be able to do? It's going to end up being very, very small. And I'm sure a number of you have seen the video that I've put up of uh, Charlotte Jacques Jardin doing rising trot on a young pony, uh, young horse, sorry. Uh, and she has a very clear height to the rise. So that's another reason to have the stirrups the correct length. The other thing I'll say is, uh, we're going to just say about heels down. Heels down is a good thing to have. Uh, it's good to have the stretch down the back of the calf. It means the entire leg is connected all the way right down to your, uh, to your feet. Uh, but it isn't the be all and end all. Uh, I often say to people, you can't go from A to Z. Okay, so when we get a pupil in front of us, uh, I don't go heels down because to me that's a Z. You know, Millie can do heels down. Show them, show them those marvelous heels down, Millie. Uh, Millie can do heels down by sticking her leg forward like that. It's very easy. If I, I, in fact, if I pop my toe and stick my leg forward enough, I can do heels down. See that ballet is paying off, Millie. And um, let's bring it back again. Okay. So it's really important that you don't press. Uh, uh, you don't press the heels down. The heel happens through the tendon in the front of the ankle here um, coming into play and the toe lifting up and a stretch across the back. So actually a really quick exercise you can do uh, while you're sat there on your computer is uh, lift your foot up and just put your fingers right in the front crease 
of the, the foot here, where the, your foot meet, meets the, the front of your shin. Press into it, and then lift your toe up, like I've just done here. And when you do that, you'll feel a ropey tendon start to stick out. And that basically is the tendon that should be in action with the ankle. You should be thinking of going toes up and having that tendon in place. You shouldn't look to be heels down above and beyond everything else. What's more important is, you know, from like here up to about here and that you're stable on the horse and then the extremities will correct themselves. It's kind of like saying to a rider, keep your hands still. You know, when their core is too weak and they're, they're moving around all over the place and they're out of balance. It's the same thing as just saying heels down. There is uh, another thing you need to be aware of with their feet as well as the feet. <laughs> Oh, Tinker's getting bored. So we'll get Tinker to walk around in a quick second because she's getting a bit bored stood there. Uh, the other thing we'll say is don't press into your stirrups. This is different from jumping, uh, but for dressage, don't press down into your stirrups. Uh, to go back to physics, Newton's third law states each action has an equal and opposite reaction, which simply means that if I push down, something goes up, okay? Now, what happens in terms of the stirrup is if you push down, because it's on a pendulum, the stirrup will swing forwards. Not only that, as you push into the stirrup, it will push your bum backwards in the saddle like this. And you can stop now, 